okay so there are two entities which you need to focus upon one is termed as what transferable drug resistance okay and one is mutational drug resistance hello everyone this is dr govind rai gar and along with me is dr sonu pawar so we will be discussing in this video about antimicrobial drug resistance Uh, you know previously long back the people died from the infectious diseases because we did not have antibiotics but now also people are getting uh, killed from the infectious diseases still we have antibiotics still they are being killed the reason is development of drug resistance so most of the organisms are now getting resistance to already available drugs so again it is a big challenge now so we need to prevent the emergence of drug resistance and the most important method by which we can prevent the emergence of drug resistance is do not use antimicrobials so obviously when they are not necessary so by using the antimicrobial unnecessarily we are promoting the drug resistance but we commonly say like we use commonly antibiotics in viral illness okay? so if we have viral illness we use antibiotics which is not done because if we do not give antibiotic the viral illness will be treated in 7 days but if we give antibiotics it will take just one week so you understand it will take the same time so it is useless to use antimicrobial in viral illness we are only promoting the drug resistance so we need to prevent that that is the most important thing so here we will discuss basically what are the various methods by which bacteria can develop drug resistance and how this resistance can be transferred the first part what are the various methods i will elaborate and then dr sonu will elaborate how it can be transferred okay so what are the various methods the most important method of drug resistance is enzymatic breakdown enzymatic breakdown as i commonly tell in my lectures enzymatic breakdown what happens is this is a bacteria we have given some antimicrobial this antimicrobial will kill the bacteria this is normally happening now this bacteria is getting killed since one year or two year by this antimicrobial now this bacteria the friends of this bacteria comes ke yaar aise nahi chalega koi bahar ke log aate hain humko maar ke nikal jate तो कहते कुछ तो करना पड़ेगा सो दिस बैक्टीरिया इट कैप्ट दी सिक्योरिटी गार्ड्स सो दिस सिक्योरिटी गार्ड्स आर हेयर वेटिंग विद द गन्स सो व्हेन वी गिव एंटीबायोटिक फ्रॉम आउटसाइड द बैक्टीरिया विल शूट देम एंड द एंटीबायोटिक विल बी ब्रोकन बैक्टीरिया विल सरवाइव सो दैट इज द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ ड्रग रेजिस्टेंस एंड दी सिक्योरिटी गार्ड्स आर नथिंग बट द एंजाइम्स सो दीज एंजाइम्स विल ब्रेक द एंटीमाइक्रोबियल लाइक यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड अबाउट पेनिसिलिनेजस व्हिच विल ब्रेक पेनिसिलिनेजस सो व्हिच बैक्टीरिया और वी कैन से व्हिच एंटीमाइक्रोबियल they develop resistance because of development of enzymes by the bacteria these you can easily remember as a b and c a b c three main antibiotics a for aminoglycosides b for beta lactams like penicillinases we just discussed and c for chloramphenicol so these are the three antibiotics where the drug resistance can occur due to enzymes aminoglycosides beta lactams like penicillin cephalosporins etc and chloramphenicol so first method is enzymatic breakdown then second we have another method of drug resistance in which target site is modified target site modification target site modification means wherever the uh, antibiotic is targeting the bacteria obviously antibiotic will bind somewhere in the bacteria only then it will kill that bacteria so that target is changed if that is changed the antibiotic will become ineffective like in case of vancomycin the drug resistant occur because of change in the target in mrsa methicillin resistant there is altered penicillin binding proteins yeah in case of fluoroquinolones you can say dna gyrase is changed so that can lead to drug resistance so this is the second method target site modification then we have third method decrease in permeability so as we discuss this is a bacteria the antibiotic will go inside the bacteria and then kill the bacteria so now what bacteria does it will close the gates so when the gate is closed the antibiotic cannot enter so obviously it cannot kill so basically the antibiotic is permeable to the membranes of the bacteria only then it can enter if this permeability is not there the antibiotic will not enter and the drug resistance will occur now, this type of method is most important for aminoglycosides so for amino glycoside we earlier also discussed one method was bit, uh, this enzymes and second method is permeability but if they ask which is more important for amino glycoside more important is decrease in permeability 
सकते देन द नेक्स्ट मेथड मे बी अल्ट्रेशन इन दी मेटाबोलिज्म मेटाबोलिज्म लाइक यू ऑल नो सल्फोनामाइड दे एक्ट बाई इनबिटिंग दी फॉलिक एसिड सिंथेसिस रिमेंबर सल्फोनामाइड इनबिट दी फॉर्मेशन ऑफ फॉलिक एसिड सो इफ वी अल्टर दी पाथवे बैक्टीरिया स्टार्ट यूटिलाइजिंग दी प्री फॉर्म फॉलिक एसिड देन सल्फोनामाइड विल बिकम इन इफेक्ट सो नॉर्मली द बैक्टीरिया दे कैन नॉट यूटिलाइज दी प्री फॉर्म फॉलिक एसिड बैक्टीरिया जो होते हैं ना वो खुददार होते हैं वो कहते हैं कि हम किसी से मांग के नहीं खाएंगे हम अपना बनाएंगे खुद खाएंगे ठीक है सो दे फॉर्म देयर ओन फॉलिक एसिड बट सल्फोनामाइड दे इनबिट दैट फॉर्मेशन ऑफ फॉलिक एसिड बट वेन वी गिव सल्फोनामाइड बैक्टीरिया सोच रहा है कि भूखे मरने से अच्छा है कि जो बना बनाया वही खा लेते हैं क्लियर सो वेन दे स्टार्ट यूजिंग दैट देन द रेजिस्टेंस में लग क्लियर सो दैट इज अल्ट्रेशन इन दी मेटाबॉलिज सो दीज आर दी मेजर मैथड ऑफ ड्रग रेजिस्टेंस बाई विच बैक्टीरिया कैन डिवेल्प ड्रग रेजिस्टेंस नाउ दिस ड्रग रेजिस्टेंस द प्रॉब्लम इज नॉट ऑफ दी ड्रग रेजिस्टेंस द प्रॉब्लम इज इफ वन बैक्टीरिया इज ए रेजिस्टेंट इट कैन मेक अदर बैक्टीरिया ऑल्सो रेजिस्टेंट सो दैट इज ट्रांसफर ऑफ ड्रग रेजिस्टेंस विच इज द मेजर प्रॉब्लम so there are two main methods of transfer one is vertical and second is horizontal vertical means from the parents it will go to progen horizontal means it will go to side by bacteria bhai bano ko ho jayega okay so these two methods they will be elaborated by dr so thank you sir so as sir have explained up the ways mechanisms by which the antibiotics they get resistance and the methods like horizontal and the vertical one okay so there are two entities which you need to focus upon one is termed as what transferable drug resistance and one is mutational drug resistance okay mutational drug resistance so in the transfer drug resistance you have to remember a equation and what is that equation is that capital r is equal to rtf plus small r okay and what is this capital r capital r resistance what is rtf resistance transfer factor and what is this this is a determinant factor which determines up to how many drugs the resistance will happen okay so this equation you have to remember up that the resistance is equal to what rtf resistance transfer factor along with what small r which determines up to how many drugs the resistance will go at one go okay so basically you can remember like this small r is a circle like thing to which how many drugs they attach up the resistance will transfer at one go okay and this is the factor which is being needed up so both is needed to transfer the resistance rtf and small r okay so one thing guys that uh, here what can happen multiple drug resistance can happen by this transfer drug resistance whereas in the mutational one it is mostly what a single drug resistance okay it is a single drug resistance which ought to happen in the mutational drug resistance stuff okay whereas a multiple drug resistance is a phenomena seen in whom in the transferable drug resistance okay then a question comes then in tuberculosis which particular method plays a more role in the drug resistance is it mutational or transferable okay and mostly persons they do this question wrong because initially it is the mutational drug resistance which happens to be in the mycobacterium tuberculosis stuff okay tb this particular phenomena plays more important role later on yes transfer drug resistance also ought to happen but if somebody ask you which is the major contributor to resistance in that so answer should be mutational drug resistance okay so as you can like see up in this that mdr obviously is difficult to treat and single drug resistance is easy to treat okay so that is obvious from this particular table now i will tell you the various methods by which the drug resistance is mostly yeah, sorry for interrupting sir yes, uh, i think uh, mutational will be vertical one mutational is vertical uh -huh. one, and this will be horizontal one. yes okay and uh, now talking about those uh, like uh, methods which are uh, horizontal one like the conjugation transduction and transformation okay so as you know from the microbiology knowledge that this particular method that is the conjugation this is the most important method in most of the bacteria of the drug resistance transfer okay whereas our favorite staph aureus this particular one goes in exception and this goes by which particular process the drug resistance undergoes by the transduction okay so first of all if we talk about the conjugation in this suppose a bacteria is there okay that is having its own nuclear material okay along with that a certain plasmid is there which is determinant of the resistance and as you know the plasmid is what self replicating so it can replicate up into two okay so suppose this is a 
like a fertility factor or this particular one if a f positive bacteria okay and this forms a conjugation tube with another bacteria which is like of the same stuff and through this conjugation tube this particular plasmid of resistance can go to this side and this also which is not having this plasmid before can develop up this type of drug resistance okay so this is one of the method that is the conjugation and it is found mostly in the bacteria okay whereas the transduction whenever somebody talks about transduction immediately what sh should come in your mind the word bacteriophage okay so this is not phage this is termed as phage so this is bacteriophage mediated the transduction is bacteriophage mediated and you know that this particular thing is of two types one is lysogeny and one is lytic stuff okay in the lysogeny that particular fellow combines with the bacterial chromosomal material and in this it destroys the bacterial chromosomal material and takes control of the cell okay so basically transduction you have to remember for the staph aureus and for most of the other ones you have to remember the conjugation so overall what is the most important method that is the conjugation transformation is very less okay it is there but it's very less and uh, you already know the transformation was discovered by griffith and it is actually what through the agency of free dna that transfer is termed as what transformation okay so in total these are the methods by which the transfer happens of the resistance and sir have beautifully explained up all the methods that uh, by which the antimicrobials they develop resistance along with that and it's a hot burning topic in fact the who is also worried about it and uh, they are saying after the covid 19 this will be the next pandemic of the world okay and so so please. i will like to summarize quickly whatever we have discussed we have uh, discussed two topics here about drug resistance one is how the bacteria develop drug resistance and second how it transferred it to other bacteria so i already explained to you the various mechanisms like via enzymes or decrease in permeability or altering the target bacteria can develop the drug resistance one method i forgot is efflux pumps sometime like in tetracyclines bacteria can throw out the drug out of the bacteria so that is called efflux pumps that is important in tetracyclines so this is how the bacteria develop the resistance then how it can be transferred so one method is by mutation so as we Sarah already explained in the difference between mutational and uh, transferable so in mutational basically the there is mutation in some gene that can lead to altered target or development of a flux pumps or anything so mutation can occur so that is method of vertical transmission and then second is the horizontal transmission as sir explained that in horizontal because one bacteria has to give some material to other bacteria so we can give many uh, drug resistance genes that means multiple drug resistance is main method by horizontal transfer yeah. now the three methods the sir has explained Explained conjugation. Conjugation is simple physical contact. Two bacteria are. One has made a connection. From it, it has gone up and down. Physical contact. Second is transduction. Transduction is by the virus. Virus called as bacteriophage. So the drug resistance gene is present in one bacteria. So when it goes, uh, this bacteriophage or the virus infected, take the that gene and give it to some other bacteria through the agency of virus. Clear? So transduction is mainly important in Staph aureus. Most other by conjugation. The third one transformation which is the least important you can remember in this manner that uh, the bacteria was roaming and he found the resistance gene in the environment. He picked up that gene. Just in Hindi language you can identify that we were on the the note mil gaya, humne utha ke rakh liya. Clear? So the note roj -roj to milta nahi hai. To ye resistance bhi roj -roj hoti nahi hai. Clear? So it is the least common method of drug resistance. Okay. So these are the important things. So uh, Sarah has beautifully explained the different methods of drug resistance, particularly the difference between the mutational and the uh, transferable drug resistance kindly remembered. So I think uh, this topic is very important. Sarah has already explained. Uh, make this on your tips. One question is likely from this. Okay. Anything to add, sir? This much, sir. And uh, very best of luck. And uh, thank you so much. All the best.